This is Omaha Beach in Normandy, and it's a major setting in my story, D-Day Dog. Um, and the teacher really explains what Omaha Beach is all about in the, in the book. So I'm going to read you a little section from this, and then talk about the effect that it has on Jack, who's the main character in this story. Day two in France. The coach moved slowly down the hill towards the coastline. Jack could hear shouts and laughter as Kofi pointed at the sandy beach and sunlight sparkled on the waves. Jack peered out of the window with Lucas. Lucas was bouncing up and down in his seat with excitement. The children filed off the bus and gathered in a large circle on a grass bank behind the coach park. Mr Salah stood on a low wall to address them. Behind them was a long wide beach that disappeared into a shimmering haze down the coast a vast blue sky and flat silvery sea behind it. The day was becoming hotter and hotter, the cool of the morning evaporating. Do you remember how we learned in the museum yesterday that thousands of men died here on Omaha Beach, Mr. Salah said in a calm but clear voice. They came from the sea, taking their first steps to put an end to the Nazi domination of Europe. They were prepared to risk their lives to try to drive the Nazis back into Germany to save the millions of people who were dying and suffering under German rule in Europe. The sea was red, Lucas whispered. What? Jack asked. It was hard to focus on what Lucas was saying. Jack felt so uneasy about the beach and the terrible things that had happened there. With blood, Lucas added. I know, Jack muttered, noticing that Miss Kahn was watching Lucas very carefully. They were shot at, shelled, and had flamethrowers turned on them, Mr. Salah went on. Thousands died. They gave their lives so that we could come here and enjoy the freedom of the land, the sand, and the sea. We are free to do this because they died right here. Remember what we heard at the museum yesterday. They gave their tomorrow so we could have our today. Think about that. Silence. None of year six knew quite what to do or say. They stood up with their arms limp at their sides, thinking. Jack remembered the line about soldiers giving their tomorrows. He looked out at the beach where they had died and frowned. Then, Mrs Mace appeared with a large blue sports bag. Yesterday, she said, was very intense. We had a long journey and then even before we reached our digs, we visited a museum and saw a very emotional film. We think that it's time you all had some fun. And after what we've heard from Mr. Salah, I can't think of anything better for children to do on this beach than play, enjoying your freedom, enjoying your today. And so, year six played on the beach where thousands of men had lost their lives. Mrs. Mace had made them feel like the most fitting thing that they could do. They threw themselves into it. Mrs. Mace and Miss Khan watched the game from the touchline, chatting as they lifted their faces to the sun. So the teachers bring them to a beach where hundreds of men, thousands of men have been injured and killed um, trying to liberate Europe um, this, is, this is the place this is the very place where those men were killed and the teachers then suggest that the children play football and for Jack that's really confusing because he's he's worried that this is a place that should be respected where he shouldn't be playing sports and having fun but the teachers are saying the soldiers gave their lives so that children could come onto this beach and have fun and that's, that's the crux of one of the problems for Jack is that he, he, he's, really, he's really interested in war and respectful of war. And he's, but also he's, he's coming to hate war. And because of the visit, the visit to this beach, Jack really turns against war and, and gets quite cross on the school trip. Um, and that, that defines what happens in the rest of the story, um, which we'll come to in some of, the, some of the later videos. Anyway, so this is Omaha Beach, and let's just take a moment to, um, to remember those, the hundreds and thousands of soldiers who um, died and were injured on this beach trying to liberate Europe. And just to say, they were successful in liberating Europe. They didn't just try, they were successful. And although many of them died, the Americans on this beach, the British on the next beach, the Canadians on the one after that, they did liberate Europe. They got rid of the Nazis um, and, and made Europe um, a better, more democratic and safer place for people to live in. Um, and I think we have to remember that as well. Thank you for listening.